Today I'm going to show you a very simple slow cooker main dish that has about five minutes of preparation work and it is absolutely sensational. Let's make this beautiful slow cooker orange chicken drumsticks on the One Pot Chef. To make our marinade sauce, first things first, into a little jug I've got a quarter of a cup of honey and to that I'm going to add in two tablespoons of soy sauce, three tablespoons of orange juice. Now this is freshly squeezed orange juice, which means it came out of an orange, not out of a bottle. It makes a big difference when it comes to the flavour. To help offset the sweetness and the saltiness, I'm going to add in a tablespoon of white vinegar. And for a bit of spice, I'm going to add in two tablespoons of ground ginger, that's dried ginger. And half a teaspoon of dried chilli flakes. And all that's left to do is stir everything together to combine. Next, I have got eight chicken drumsticks and all I've done is I've taken the skins off them. I've done this because skins don't tend to cook up very nicely in a slow cooker, plus it's just an extra layer of fat that you don't really need. The meat's already got a little bit of fat in it for flavour, so it's just a bit of excess, so take it off. All we need to do now is pour the sauce over the chicken drumsticks. Don't be afraid to get messy, just give the drumsticks a bit of a toss in that sauce just to make sure they are all nicely coated. And all we need to do now is pop the lid on and switch on to the low setting for four hours or until the chicken is cooked all the way through. A few hours later, so let's take a look. Whew, oh, wow. <laughs> the smell is incredible. You get hit in the head with this wonderful orange and ginger flavor. Absolutely astonishing. Golden and bursting with flavor. I can't wait to dive in and have a taste. Excuse the fingers. Mmm. Yum. <laughs> oh, wow. Mmm. <laughs> you get instantly hit with the flavours of the orange and the ginger. Absolutely sensational. The chicken is about as moist as chicken will ever be. Trust me, you will absolutely adore this. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later. You can easily adapt the spices in this to suit your own personal taste. If you're not a fan of chilli, feel free to leave it out. If you'd like to use garlic instead of ginger, you can do that as well. Though I wouldn't go too hardcore on the garlic because otherwise you won't be able to taste the orange. This is a very easy dish and it's easily adapted. You can do it as a whole bunch of dump dishes, pop them into freezer bags and you've got a whole bunch of dinners ready to go with only a little bit of work.